Hi, this is Dave Lorenzo with RainmakerLawyer.com and today we're going to talk about the three ways that clients can find you. You know, I have to give a talk to a group of criminal defense attorneys in the future, in a couple of days, and I want to make sure that I give them the best possible advice when it comes to attracting clients. So one of the questions I'm going to ask them is, where do the best clients come from? When I ask this question to just about any attorney, the answer I get always is the best clients really come from referrals. And that's one of three ways that you can attract clients to your practice. You can attract clients either through advertising, which includes the internet, direct mail, billboards, bus stop benches, television, radio, or word of mouth, which means somebody who doesn't know you says to somebody else, hey, that guy, Dave Lorenzo, I heard a lot of good things about him, you should go see him. Or you can get a referral. That's where somebody who knows you, likes you, and trusts you recommends that a client or a potential client comes to see you. Big difference between word of mouth, which is somebody who doesn't know you, and a referral because the person actually has either had some kind of an experience with you or has a relationship with you where they trust you. Those are the three ways, and there are only three ways, that you can attract a client to your law firm. Best clients, we already know, come from referrals. Well, how do you go about structuring your practice so that you get the best clients by the best means? Well, you do that by really targeting referral sources. Now, the mix, of your marketing mix, when it comes to direct to client as opposed to referral sources is going to depend upon the structure of your practice. If you have a consumer related practice like these criminal defense attorneys I'm going to be speaking to, you're going to want to target 90% of your marketing toward referral sources. If you are, for example, a corporate transactional attorney or someone who is a business attorney, you, you can do a little bit better. You can probably do a 70-30 mix of marketing 70% of the time to referral sources and 30% of the time directly to the end user. Now, why do we do this? Well, think about the metrics involved in marketing. First and foremost, there is a metric called return on investment for your, for your marketing dollars. Okay, Where are you going to get the highest return on investment? Well, you're going to get the highest return on investment from a client relationship or a referral source relationship that is going to be productive over time. So that's the second metric and that's lifetime value. If you're a consumer attorney, client lifetime value is relatively low because generally people are only going to get divorced once or maybe twice in their lifetime. So you're not going to be able to do a lot more for that client once you've engaged them the first time. If you're a criminal attorney, hopefully you will work on one matter for that client and not work on a matter for them again. That's why it pays to go after referral sources. The lifetime value of your referral sources is going to be much, much higher. So, that being said, if you are focusing your marketing right now and you're budgeting your marketing dollars, the best thing you can do is put the bulk of your marketing resources into targeting referral sources. My name is Dave Lorenzo and for more great law firm marketing tips just like these, you can find me at RainmakerLawyer.com. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.